Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my January favourites and I know I haven't filmed a video since like Christmas but I've been so busy, it's unbelievable. So I'm finally happy to be back and I know I might be talking really strange, it's because I got my braces off and now I'm wearing retainers so I got them on today and I'm just kind of getting used to them. And I also want to apologise about the lighting because the sun keeps going in and out and that's probably why the lighting keeps going dark and light. But yeah, anyway, I'm going to get in on with the video and I hope you enjoy. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is this cleansing balm by Sunday Riley. This is the Blue Moon Cleansing Balm. And I've had this since gosh when I've had this I've had it before Christmas since before Christmas and I've used basically most of it you can kind of see the bottom bit of it I've been really really liking it and it was about 49 pounds which is kind of the only downside to it but um I feel like this product goes really really quickly and um, I use it about three times a week on my skin um, and afterwards it literally makes my skin feel so clean and fresh and it's like a gel consistency and then it melts um, to the heat of your skin you can see there it's all it's literally melted already and just by taking the lid off it's kind of melting in the middle so that's what it does you um, massage it into your skin and it melts and then you can either leave it on for 20 minutes as a mask or you can rinse it off straight away. I use it um, at night and then rinse it off and then put moisturiser on and go to bed. And sometimes I do it before I put my makeup on. And I really do see a difference when I put it on before my makeup. Because my makeup goes on so much more nicely and looks so much more flawless. So yeah, this was £49 and this is my first lover. No, not lover, favourite. The next thing I'm going to be talking about is a primer. This is the Estee Lauder Illuminizing Perfecting Primer and I've had this for about a year now and I don't think I could do my makeup without it anymore. What I love about this primer is that you can really see what it does. So when I wear this primer um, and then put my makeup on, I see that my makeup stays on all day and when I don't wear the primer, I can see that my makeup stays on for about five to six hours max. So that is why I've absolutely been loving this primer, especially this month because I've been working a lot, so I've been wearing it a lot more and I can definitely see, or I can definitely tell that it keeps my makeup on all day long. Even my mum said to me, how do you still look the same from seven o'clock in the morning till seven at night? And I'm just saying, it's this primer. Next thing is this By Terry Lip Gloss. I got this about three months ago now and it's um, a liquid lip gloss that turns into a matte. And I've been really liking kind of lip glosses that turn into a matte because I just think they look really, really cool. And I just swatched the colour on the back of my hand. But it's kind of a dusty, oh my god, the sun's gone in, out. So it's kind of a dark pinky mauvey kind of, and I really like it, I think that it suits my skin tone perfectly and it wears for quite a long time as well, I would say up to about 7 hours which is really good, I mean when you eat it obviously doesn't stay on as much but then I just top it off and it's really really good. So this was by By Terry and I think it's about £33. Okay, another lipstick that I want to show you is actually the one that I have on now. This is um, called Grace and it's by NARS and it just looks like this. You can obviously see on my lips. Now, I'm not really a fan of kind of bright pinky red lipsticks, but um, I picked this one up because um, obviously I work in Space and K and there's obviously a I always see it on the counter and I always think it looks such a nice colour. So I bought it and I really, really love it for my skin tone. I think it looks really, really nice. and just gives me a pop of colour. So it's nice also to wear when you're not wearing much eyeshadow. And this can give you like a nice bright colour on the lip when you don't have to wear a lot of eyeshadow. Or if you don't want to do any eyeshadow that day. So yeah, I really like this and I think this was 20 £3 I think, not too sure. Next thing I want to show you is a highlighter that I've been absolutely loving. I have it on today and it is the Kevin Aqua Highlighter in Starlight. Now with this highlighter I don't put it kind of on the top of my cheekbones, I put it like on the apples of my cheek and then like brush up because I think it looks absolutely 
gorgeous like that. So I'll just show you what it looks like. That's the colour. It's kind of a, I don't know if you can really see it on the back of my hand, but it's just such a gorgeous highlighter colour. And I've been wearing it through the whole of January and I just absolutely love it. And as I said, especially when I put it kind of like on the apples of my cheek after my blusher, it just gives such a beautiful glow to the face. So that one was, I think, oh, I'm not too sure. I think it was 35, but you'll have to check because I'm not too sure. I got this palette for Christmas and this is the Tartlet in the Bloom palette. And I think it was a Christmas edition palette, I'm not too sure. But oh my god, I've literally used this so much and I absolutely love it. I especially love these two top colours here for kind of transition shade. And then I absolutely love this kind of shimmery gold champagne colour for the lid. It looks absolutely gorgeous when you spritz it with some MAC Fix Plus and it just looks amazing. I do love all the colours in here, but I just think them three that I just mentioned are so, so gorgeous. And I've worn this one the other day on my lid and it looked so cool. So I've been really, really loving this palette. And yeah, this is another thing I got for Christmas. Or was it for Christmas? It might have been something that I bought out of my Christmas money. But either or, I've been absolutely loving it since Christmas. Um, I've never really worn, like contour but when I saw this on the Urban Decay counter I thought this colour was kind of a really nice colour for pale skin and I tried it out and I really really liked it and then again the blush and the highlighter go really really well I've been really liking putting a highlighter on the apples and these two together are really really gorgeous so I've been really enjoying using this little palette as well. Now this month um, I've tried out two new things that are amazing I've never tried them before and I've literally just I don't know why I've never tried them before but anyway the first thing is a fake tan I've never done a fake tan but um, I was just literally getting sick of how fair my legs and arms are I just give me a bit of a tan and I saw this Rimmel one and I picked it up and bought it and I tried it out and it's so so nice I mean I'm not gonna say oh my god it's amazing it's changed my life I'm sure there's a billion other ones out there but this one's just kind of nice cheap and it does a really really good job it just gives me a nice tan and to be, to be honest you can't really go wrong with it so I've been really enjoying wearing that and then the next thing that is completely new to me is fake eyelashes oh my god I am obsessed literally obsessed with fake eyelashes now my friend Charlie told me that I need to wear fake eyelashes it will change my life and Charlie you was right I absolutely love them. I've been wearing the um I think it's Isla Isla ones I've been wearing them quite a lot and it's so good that you can obviously like reuse them and I've been wearing these natural lashes a lot because they're really 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 nice and I've just ordered some Huda is it Huda 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 yeah, it's Huda Beauty Huda Beauty lashes I've just ordered some of them ones and some velour lashes and I'm so excited so the next thing I want to show you is a candle I got this for Christmas as obviously it says Merry Christmas and it's got kind of like a massive Christmas market on but I've been burning this throughout January and oh my god, I literally am obsessed with it. It literally smells my whole room out. Even my mum says, what is that smell? It's amazing. I'm just like, it's this candle. It's so nice. It, I think it's orange and... I think it's orange and cinnamon and it's just so festive. Oh, it's so nice. It just smells like mulled wine and it just brings me back to Christmas and I love it so much. I probably should stop burning it now because it's February. So it might be a bit weird, but I just, I love it. Okay, and the last thing I want to show you is my diary of 2016. Literally, I don't know what I would do without this. I've never really had a diary before, um, but now I'm kind of older and I've got a job and I'm working and I've got appointments and I'm doing all these things. This just comes in so handy. I don't have to remember it all in my head. I can literally write it down and then every night I look in it and say, see what I'm doing to hours I'm doing, where I'm meant to be, if I'm at an appointment, got, have, I, have I got a dentist, have I got a doctor's appointment, if I'm seeing Cameron, it's just so, so handy and I write down all my notes, I write down, you know, everything. It just keeps me less stressed because I know that everything I'm doing is in this book. So, also this is a Kath Kids one and I got it for Christmas, obviously. So that is everything, all my favourites are done. <laughs> So yeah, that is everything that I've been loving through the month of January. And again, I'm really sorry I haven't filmed in ages. As I said, I've been really, really busy. But I'm back now and I will see you in my next video. Have a lovely day. And yeah, I'll see you soon. Bye.